Hey everyone, Dan from devicesteel.com.au. Today we have another Arlo video. Um, we're gonna have a talk about the much anticipated Arlo Pro 4. Uh, it's been a little bit confusing as to what the product actually is, how it's gonna be used, what are its features, how does it differ from the previous products. So we're gonna have a look at what's in the box. We're gonna have a look at uh, what the differences are how this product is being marketed to be used, um, how we're sort of suggesting it be used and what our customers uh, are telling us um, about why they're purchasing it and how they're planning on using it. So it should give those new Arlo customers a bit of an idea as to what you can do with it and um, existing Arlo customers, how you might be able to add this to your existing Arlo products. So we'll have a look at this product, we'll unbox, see what's in there, uh, and then have another chat from there. So let's see what we have. Um, so those that have already purchased and seen an existing Arlo product, it's all gonna be fairly familiar. Um, we have our cameras. And under our cameras, instructions, and everything else is in here. Okay, so in here we have our charger, Australian adapter, mounts, two magnetic mounts, two screw mounts which used to be called outdoor mounts, but they're the same. Our cables and our batteries for each of the cameras. And that is it. So that's our unboxing. Um, obviously, yes, yeah, so we've got our cameras, battery for each of the cameras. We've got our uh, Arlo power adapter which is for the Australian market. We've got our magnetic mounts, the magnetic mounts, if you haven't used Arlo products before, nice and strong. Um, you can sort of pivot them and move them around, um, not gonna blow off in the wind, um, strong enough to be outdoors, um, so they're an option for you. The screw mounts, nice and sturdy, they give you a little bit more security. It's gonna take someone a little bit longer maybe to unscrew it if someone really wanted to take the product. Though, if they are going to take the product, you've got uh, footage of them doing it, I guess. Um, but that's your, your outdoor mounts, and they'll just pivot around. Um, now, this particular Arlo Pro, uh, the Pro 4 product, device deal sell, um, or Arlo has their own, so one pack, two pack, three pack, four pack. We also have a five pack, six pack, seven pack, eight pack, nine pack. Um, we'll just open up. A, let's say a four pack, take out the cameras and add as many as you need to your pack so you don't have to buy um, individual add-on cameras which are a little bit more expensive. Um, you can basically tailor your package to, to your needs. So that is available on our uh, web store, um, so you can have a look there. So that's basically what's in the box. Um, we're gonna run through the difference if you were to open uh, an Arlo Pro uh, 3 or an Arlo Ultra package. Um, you'd effectively get the same thing, but with a base station. So you may, those that have seen Arlo products before um, would recognize the base station as being a sort of a central part of the product. The cameras normally um, connect to the base station, the base station connects to the internet, it's your connection uh, out of the house through the internet connection to your Arlo app. So the big difference with the Pro 4 is that there is no base station and that leads us into the differences between the Pro 3, the Pro 4 and some of the other products so we'll touch on that um, now.
Okay, so now that we've unboxed, let's have a talk about what the actual product does, what it's used for. Um, so the Pro 4 camera is effectively the same sort of specifications as the Pro 3. It is still a 2K resolution, um, still 160 degree field of view. It still has the same sort of intended battery life, the same integrated spotlight, the same chargeable battery, magnetic charging, pretty much the same device. The biggest difference is uh, with the base station, or I should say without the base station. So, Whilst the product itself is effectively the same, the way you can use it and the way it connects into your home system um, is the major difference. And it might seem like not a lot to some people, um, but for a lot of the customers that we've spoken to, it's a real game changer. Um, traditionally, your camera, uh, so your base station would be connected to the internet, your, you'd power it on, you'd add it to your app, you then synchronize the cameras to the base station and through the base station to your app. The biggest difference with the Pro 4 is that there is no base station. So the camera connects via your home Wi-Fi connection, not via the base station. It can connect via the base station, which we'll touch on later, but the intended design is that you'll connect it up to your home Wi-Fi system. So if you've spent you know, thousand dollars, two thousand dollars on getting your home Wi-Fi system immaculate, full coverage everywhere. This is the product for you because it will connect into your home Wi-Fi. So if you've got a, a garage that's a hundred meters away, but you've spent money getting Wi-Fi to the garage, uh, your cameras will just seamlessly go in there. Um, they'll connect up to the Wi-Fi, and uh, you're good to go. So these will, same sort of setup process as the other products. You'll download the app, you'll create your account within the Arlo app. You'll go through and add these products, which is just a selection, add a camera, pick Arlo 4, um, and add the cameras in. As soon as they're added in, place them where you want them, um, get, get your angles right, do your testing, done. So nice and easy. As I said, a lot of the customers that we've spoken to use them for you know outside buildings or hard to reach areas. So if you've got a very good home Wi-Fi system, to be able to put these in previously uh, hard to reach places. So if you had the base station and a large house, you know, three story house or a, a house that had a double brick wall or some sort of area that you couldn't get a good Wi-Fi coverage to, your cameras would have a horrible signal. You'd be getting delay, you'd be getting uh, connection problems, um, and, it, and it was just causing a few people some dramas. When you take that out of the equation, have the camera connect into the home Wi-Fi system, yeah, it just gives you options. So you can target certain areas with range extenders, with mesh Wi-Fi systems, with wireless access points, outdoor access points, point-to-point uh, -point locations for long periods, um, wherever you've got your Wi-Fi connection, you can put your camera. Um, so it's, it's a real game changer for a lot of people uh, where you don't have to have the base station, you're not restricted by the base station and the base station range. You don't have to buy a second base station to give you a coverage boost somewhere in the, in the property. Um, so that's the major reason that the Pro 4 has been released, able to connect into the Wi-Fi. Um, and the major difference between the Pro 3 and the Pro 4. So one of the, I mean, whilst it's great that there's the ability to connect these into your home Wi-Fi system, um, the base station still does have its benefits and whilst it's been uh, removed from the package, it's not there as sort of a built-in standard, it's still available as an accessory so you can purchase a base station. Why you might want the base station um, for a lot of people is, is to have local storage. If you don't have the base station, it means you need a subscription 
Um, so you'll pay for your Arlo subscription as an ongoing thing. We will have a video that goes into the subscription, how it works, what your options are, all that sort of thing. So keep an eye on our channel for the, for the subscription video. Um, but the base station is a good alternative to the subscription. The main reason is that whilst it's hard to see, there's a SIM card or a, say a micro SD card, not a SIM card, micro SD card slot on the bottom, which allows you to record and store the footage on your base station. Um, so if you want to have the option of, of recording locally, storing locally, not using the subscription or potentially using the subscription sometimes and not other times, you can, you can get the base station. And also you have the opportunity of mixing and matching. So the, you can add the uh, Pro 4 cameras. You could get an, uh, a single Pro 4 camera um, to go to a far reaching place where you've got a, a Wi-Fi connection and you can have your base station as well connecting up to older Arlo products, your Pro 2, your Pro 3, Essential, um, even the old Pro products, any of them will still connect to the base station. So you've got the option of mixing and matching, using whatever you want. You might have some of the older cameras sitting in areas that are as not as important for you. You can have your ultra uh, cameras, which is like your, your 4K ones in important places. You can have your Pro 4 cameras in uh, wirelessly connected or Wi-Fi connected to your um, home network in hard to reach places. So it just gives you greater flexibility. Um, the, some of the negatives that we, we get feedback on, uh, we'll touch on those as well. Battery life is, is a big one. It's something that a lot of the uh, customers that are requesting to return the product to us, it's like, you know, it's great, but the batteries don't last long. When we tend to ask them about how they're using the product, um, how they've got it set up, how often it's recording, unfortunately, a lot of the time, that they don't even know. It's, um, it, it's a conversation where we'll say, okay, uh, how much is it recording? Like, well, what, what's it recording? Um, and we often find out that it's, it's pretty much on all day, every day. Uh, or for large amounts of time, and it's not really designed as that. There's a battery in there. It's not designed for long-term use, ongoing use, that sort of thing. So scheduling the product, there is a, the whole section in the Arlo app for scheduling. Scheduling it so that it's not triggering all the time is a huge way of conserving the battery and really getting 12 months, even a year out of your battery. Um, the idea is that you're wanting to get your alerts at the times you need the alerts, not when you don't want them. Um, so that's uh, an important thing with the battery life. Uh, other things that we've had is lag or poor connection quality to the cameras. So base station can be an issue there. So the base station, uh, if you've got coverage issues, you can have potential problems. The cameras are only going to be as good as your uh, internet connection as well. So if we take the base station out of the equation, your camera is connecting to your, uh, your Wi-Fi network. Your Wi-Fi network is going either into a, a modem or is connected to a, a router modem. Um, if you've got a pretty ordinary internet connection or you struggle with download speeds, upload speeds, it will affect how delayed your alerts are, how long it takes for notifications and videos to be available. Um, so one of the good things with the Pro 4 is it's nice and easy to test. You can take it to a different location. As long as it's got Wi-Fi in that location, you can set it up and test it and just see where, where you know, differences might be. Um, price of the Arlo product is another thing. Why is it more expensive than some of its uh, competitors? And I think the biggest thing there is that generally the Arlo brand is about 12 months ahead of its competitors. So you're paying for uh, the latest technology, uh, obviously a good quality product. It's designed for the Australian market. So what you get when you're looking at an Arlo product and you're looking at the product code, you'll see an AUS 
uh, on the product. So it's an Australian designed product tested for our market, not just imported and, and sold. So it's a good quality product um, with a lot of local support. If there's any dramas with any of the parts, you can get them replaced easily. You know, if it's purchased from, from Device Deal, uh, we'll handle the replacement uh, without any problems at all, nice and simple. Um, so you're really paying for a good quality product. It's extremely popular, which means if you go on YouTube and look at other videos of people using the products, how to use the products, what their experience with them are, you can see all of that. You can see how different people set them up. So you're, you're joining a large community of users where there's a lot of information on how to use the product. So yes, they can be a little bit more expensive than some of the other options, but generally you'll get a better user experience. The app will be clearer. The app will be updated more often. The features and functions within the app will often be better. So you, you are sort of paying for a, a top quality product. So we are still getting a lot of really good feedback about the Pro 4 cameras from those that have already purchased, those that have been waiting for the stock to come in, um, especially when it comes on the range and being able to use them in, in different environments. So our summary overall, really good product um, when purchased for the right reasons. Um, you could still use a Pro 3 in a home environment where it's a small home um, with a base station, no problem. Pro 4 is gonna have its uses as well, or it can be added in uh, to an existing setup. So good little product. Um, we've got them available on our website. Check it out, um, like, subscribe, follow us. We're releasing new content all the time, so stick with us, and we'll see you in another video soon. Thank you.